Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, I am going to discuss about the imputation of partial dates in Adam datasets. If this is your first time to the channel, then to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on base advanced and clinical SAS programming. Let's get started. So first let's understand what is the imputation. So mostly dates are imputed in adverse event, concomitant medication and medical history for the start date and end dates. Because these dates are collected based on the memory of the subject. So how much the subject remember, they tell the dates and based on that the data has been entered to the database or the data has been collected. For example, if they remember the complete dates, they tell the complete dates or they remember only the month or year or sometimes they remember only the day and year or sometimes they might not remember the complete date as well. So in the HTTM level, it is kept as it is, but when it comes to Adam, we impute it that means we make the partial date into the complete date and this conversion of the partial date into the complete date is called the date imputation and there are some basic rules about there but for uh, your studies or for your protocol you should uh, you know follow your SAP and based on the imputation rule mentioned in the SAP you can impute your dates and make it a complete date in Adam okay but let's understand some of the variable, uh, some of the flags which are created if we are uh, imputing the dates. For example, uh, you know, ASTDTF. ASTDTF uh, is the variable when date is um, derived from imputation, the imputation flag of date. ASTTMF, when date is, uh, you know, uh, when time is derived from imputation, the imputation flag of time. This ASTDTF and ASTTMF are for the start date and start time. In the same way, ANDTF, ANTMF are used if the date is uh, imputed or the flag is imputed. So these are the four flags used to uh, flag it if the date is imputed or not for start date and end date. So let's see some of the example. So here first we'll see the start date, uh, you know, the domain name and HTTTC. So there are uh, four scenarios you will see if the day is missing then the day should be kept as 01 you know the first day of the month if the month is missing the month should be kept as 01 that is the first month that means January if both month and day is missing then it should be kept as you know uh, month and date 01 01 both if whole date is missing then we can keep the uh, you know uh, start date of the treatment or you can go to your SAP and uh, the you know uh, what is the imputation is mentioned in the SAP based on that you can impute it if the whole date is missing. Let's see some of the examples. So for the start date in the first if you see the day is missing. So it's May 2023. So you know it's imputed as first day of the month that is 0105 2023 and the here is the day is uh, imputed. So ASTTTF is D. In the second scenario, the month is missing, you know, it's 7th and 2023. So when the month is missing, it's simple again, the January is imputed, that means 01. And as month is imputed, it's M. If day, month, both are missing, only year is present, then 0101, uh, you know, first Jan is uh, provided over here. And the HTTT flag is M. And the year is missing here. For example, I have given the treatment started, but according to your SAP, you can mention it and the imputed flag should be Y okay and here uh, the SAS coding also simple you can just concatenate you know 0 1 uh, uh, you know or January as per your requirement and make it as a complete date so this is for the start date in the same way for end date if the day is missing then we need to keep the last day of the month okay based on which month uh, we need to keep the last day if month is missing we keep the 12th uh, that means December both month and day is missing then 31st December you know if whole day is missing again I have given the treatment ended but according to your SAP you can mention it so for the first example if you see the day is missing so you know and so we need to give the last day of the month it, it is April month is present April so we have given 30 and the flag is D for the second scenario month is missing so 12 we uh, imputed to December and it is flag is M in the third scenario, the year is present, month and date both are missing. So we have given 31st December and the flag is M. And when the whole day is missing, you can uh, follow your SAP or you can keep the treatment ended of the subjects. And these are for the end date. And the, in the similar way, 
you know uh, we need to uh, um, do the coding over here so here for the first one you can uh, use the intnx function and in the intnx function there is a provision we can find out the last day of the month based on which month it is present so it will uh, keep you the re correct result and for the second one we can just you know and third one also we can just concatenate and we will get the result and for the third one according to the requirement you can uh, do the sas coding as well so this is for the start date and end date and similarly we need to do for the start time and end time as well that is very rare case so mostly we impute the dates only start date and end date for adverse event concomitant medication and medical history i hope this video will be helpful for you thank you for watching the complete video do like uh, share and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, for your, any of your question you can uh, just put your comment i'll try to create a video on that or i'll try to give you an answer thank you and see you again happy learning